What's up watch people, welcome back to the channel. We've got a new review for you today and this time it's the Omega Seamaster James Bond 40th anniversary watch which holds reference code 2537.80. Now just before we get into this I would like to point out that the watch we are reviewing today is a pre-armed piece so it does show some signs of previous love and as always we do actually have this watch currently for sale on our website over at thewatchvillage.co.uk so if you do like what you see here please go and check that out and you could make it yours. Now as most of us are aware the relationship between Omega and James Bond is a pretty solid one and over the years we've seen Omega release many beautiful Bond themed watches. This one in particular was released in 2002 to celebrate the 40th anniversary of the Bond film series which actually started with the release of the first movie Doctor No in 1962 and of course what better way to celebrate than with a limited edition piece of art like this. So moving on swiftly, let's take a look at what we actually get in the box with this watch. So the white outer box is inscribed with a 007 motif and the colour of the inner box has actually changed to feature a lovely shade of blue as opposed to the classic red that we're so used to seeing from Omega. It's also been decorated with a nice limited edition gun barrel style emblem. Inside of the box is lined with grey fabric and again we see a repeat of that gun barrel emblem in there. In the corner of the box we have a sneaky little 007 motif and of course we have the watch itself sat upon that nice grey cushion. As for the paperwork, like most limited edition pieces, we do have a commemorative booklet in there along with the standard instruction manual and international warranty cards. As for the specs of the watch, it is an automatic piece that's powered by an Omega 1120 caliber based on an ETA 2892-82 which has been upgraded to feature 23 jewels rather than the 21 that we saw on the originals. The power reserve lasts around 42 to 44 hours and it really does run like a dream. It's definitely one of the better movements out there, super accurate. The watch has a 41mm diameter with around a 12mm thickness and a lug width of 20mm. It does wear as you'd expect from a classic Brosnan style Seamaster, very flat against the skin, not too weighty and feels very comfortable to wear. Taking a deeper look into the watch itself, starting with the dial, we can see that this watch really is swamped in those classic Seamaster qualities that we all know and love, with the addition of some really nice 007 customisation elements. As we can see, the traditional wavy matte dial that we're so used to seeing has been replaced for one that features a recurring glossed 007 motif. Now at arm's length, this isn't really that noticeable, but when you look at the watch more closely, we really can see that detailing in there. As for the rest of the dial, we of course have that Seamaster professional detailing painted on there, along with a very smartly applied 007 logo. And as always, we also have a nicely situated date window featuring a quick change date feature. The whitish skeletonized hands and applied indices do a beautiful job of cutting through the mass amounts of blue to bring some neutrality and readability back to the dial. As we've all seen Master Professionals, the time telling features are very legible and look super smart. I am particularly impressed with the red on the second sand here though because there's absolutely no fade into it at all. To say that this watch is currently 18 years old and has been worn, the colouring on it has held up fantastically. And in all fairness, the same can be said for the loom. As we can see here, it's still shining very brightly even after 18 years. It's got great detail to it, very good quality. Moving on to the case and bezel, we can see a beautiful contrast going on here between the brushed and polished steel finishes, along with a nice pop of blue from that aluminium bezel insert. The sides of the watch sport some lovely subtle curves and display a beautiful array of brushed and polished steel, giving the watch a slimmer and sleeker look. And up at the 10 o'clock position, we have a logo stamped helium escapement valve. On the crown side, we of course have a riveted crown sandwiched between the protruding crown guard. Really nice and smooth to turn, we've had no issues with it at all. 
top side of the case again has a lovely mixture of finishes. We can see here that we have a mostly high polished finish on the bevel lugs which gives the watch a lovely little flash. I absolutely love this lug style and the way that they taper in. It just looks so smart and gives the watch a really subtle curvature. Typically, as with all of the Bond style Seamasters, we have a brushed unidirectional bezel. And finally, we have that beautiful blue and grey bezel insert. And for me, this is what really ties the whole colour scheme of this watch together and gives it that classic Seamaster look. I'd also like to point out the quality of the insert. As I said before, this watch is 18 years old and has been worn and it's still got a lot of colour to the bezel insert. It's not faded at all. In keeping with the different styles of finishes on this watch, the bracelet is no exception. We again see a repeat of the polished and brushed setup. This helps to give the watch those lovely subtle flashes when the light hits it, but nothing too in your face. Upon the strap we have a sturdy dual trigger deployment clasp that has been engraved with a 007 motif and that of course is accompanied by a diving extension feature. The strap overall is robust and durable but as with all steel bracelets it is prone to picking up desk diving marks over time. We found that this felt very nice on the wrist and we were surprised with the lack of skin pinching that you sometimes get between the links. And finally, moving on to the back of the watch, we can see a repeat of that gun barrel emblem engraved onto the watch, along with a limited edition number. Overall, we've absolutely loved having this watch around. It's a great addition to any Bond or Seamaster collection, and we really will be sad to see it go. And that's it guys, that's our review of the Omega James Bond 40th Anniversary watch. I hope you enjoyed the video, if so please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. Again feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already as we do plan on uploading more of these videos soon. So until then, see you next time.